Hi there and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to manage your profile in Trello. When you're logged in and you're on the home page, you'll see a little icon with your photo here. If you don't have it, I'll show you now how to do it. But there'll be an icon here which you can click. It will drop down and you click on profile and visibility. In this section here, there are a couple of um, tabs that you can use which also represents these tabs here. So going to this one place, you can see everything. Now profile and visibility, if you move on down, you can go and see what will be your full, what is your full name on your profile that uh, people will see when you've invited them, etc. Here's your avatar. If you have a blank photo here, you can click here to upload your picture or change it and then use a photo. This is your initials and this, when you go to a, uh, a board and they show your photo as a member of the board, this is what will show up. This is your username in Trello and then it's good for you to update your biography. Now there's not a long biography, just what, who are you and what is your role. This is the email address on your account and then you can also go and change it and once you've done that, obviously, you'll have to verify it as well. If you click on the activity tab, it will show you the recent activity on Trello and what you've done, every single action. So you can actually go into the history of that. For instance, here you click on it and it will show you the board where you've actually worked and what the details are in that. It will show you the teams that you're involved in. So you can actually go and click different teams and it will show you the boards. And then your activity as I explained. Next, cards. This will show you the cards that you're a part of. And you can go and choose showing cards active in the last month active in the last day, etc. Next step is settings. This is where you can go and change your password, change the language of the platform that's used, uh, change notification email frequency. So let's dive in a little bit. Click on this and you can go and you'll have to put in your old password and you can change your password by putting the new one. You can go and choose a language that's appropriate to you if English is not your home or your primary language. You can tell Trello when do you want to have um, notifications. Now for me, this is getting pretty busy, so I will choose instantly. Allow desktop notifications. This is good if you're working on your desktop and then you can get notifications when things so suggestions are for products and, and services on the board, marketing emails here. Um, I have opted out into marketing emails and you can disable or enable colorified, colorblind frequency mode. Now here is where um, what kind of access trailer has to your phone. It has read and write access uh, on your account, your boards, your teams approved from this day, and then it expires. You can go and revoke that. And that is your profile on Trello. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.